Hi all, welcome to my video. In this uh, video, we are going to study about Grade 9 Chemistry Chapter 1 Method. Now, in my previous video, we have seen this experiment here. In this video, we are going to start a new topic in which how can we prove that matter has particles in them. So, this is an experiment related to it. In this experiment, we are going to take a bromine vap vapor which is red brown in color, air which is colorless. In the bottom jar we have taken bromine vapor and on the top jar we have taken air. After some time you will observe that both the jars have red brown color over it. Now bromine vapor is heavier than air molecules and has lots of kinetic energy in them. So what happens, the bromine vapor, they move upwards and the air, because it is colorless, we cannot see it, it, but air also will move from the top jar to the bottom jar. By this way, we can prove that any matter is made up of small, small particles, which are continuously moving. You can also see this thing when there is a sunlight. In a dark room, the room is dark and a beam of sunlight enters. You can see small tiny particles of dust moving in the room. That also proves that matter is made up of particles. So here you can prove that matter is made of tiny particles and particles of matter are constantly moving. The next experiment which was done is the movement of pollen grains. Pollen grains are very tiny. When they are mixed in water and they were observed by the Robert Brown scientist, he observed that pollen grains moved in a very rapid manner in zigzag way. This movement of zigzag way of the pollen grain was even faster when the water was warm. Why? Because warm, uh, warm water molecules, they move faster. Because when the things are warm, they expand and they move fast. So this was the reason. So this type of movement, the zigzag movement observed in the microscope was called as Brownian movement. So the zigzag path of the matter proves that particles, they are moving and they are very tiny. This example of dark room I have explained you. Now, let us move further. So, by these two movements, experiments, and one example of dark room, it is clear that matter is made up of tiny particles, and these particles are constantly moving. I hope this topic is clear to you. Thank you for watching.